What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod and I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark seller and in today's video I want to share 10 of the best-selling jeans for men on eBay right now. So if you guys are interested in these kind of videos go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. So without further ado let's get right into it. Alright so before I get into the 10 best-selling jeans for men I want to share some of the more common brands that you guys might find while you're outsourcing and then we'll get more into the higher profit and some of the best-selling jeans for men. Starting things off is definitely one of the most common brands that we all are familiar with and that's Levi's. Now for me I like to pick up Levi jeans as long as they're brand new with the tags and that goes the same for men or women but usually unless it's a vintage pair of jeans I usually pass on used Levi's only because the market is so oversaturated and it usually takes a long time for them to sell. So unless you can get your jeans for a very very low cost and you don't mind holding on to them definitely pick up Levi's as much as you can because it's one of those brands that will always hold its value and you could always make at least 20 bucks on it. Next up in my notable mentions is Paige and Paige is more popular for women's jeans but Paige definitely still makes jeans for men as well and their jeans are definitely more like a slim fit and they also make some straight fitting jeans as well and those usually sell anywhere between 25 and 40 bucks so if you guys are interested in trying to sell page jeans just know that that market is also heavily saturated but just like Levi's jeans if you could get them for a good price you can definitely make some good profit. Next up is Bonobos and I usually sell a ton of Bonobos dress pants and dress shirts but they also make jeans for men as well and Bonobos style is definitely more casual and more of a straight fit but they also have some slim fitting jeans as well and those also sell for about 25 to sometimes 35 bucks on eBay and on Poshmark so definitely still be on the lookout for Bonobos jeans as well as some of their shirts. And next up in the notable mentions is Citizens of Humanity. Now Citizens of Humanity also makes women jeans and theirs also sells for about 25 to 40 bucks used but since the market is so heavily saturated you'll usually get around 20 to 25 bucks for their jeans but like I said if you can get them for a good price definitely still pick them up and that goes the same for men's or women's jeans. And last but certainly not least in my notable mentions is Adriano Goldsmead also known as AG jeans and those usually sell somewhere between 25 and 40 bucks. I don't pick them up as much as I used to but they're definitely still some jeans to be on the lookout for so if you see these jeans with this branding definitely pick them up because you can make some good money. Okay so now that we're done with the notable mentions let's get straight into the list and topping that list off is John Elliott denim. Now John Elliott is definitely more of a higher end brand and I even found a John Elliott hoodie that usually sells for about 75 to about 100 bucks but I ended up keeping that for myself but the denim jeans also sells for about 150 to about 200 bucks used and if it's brand new with the tags you can definitely fetch somewhere between 250 and maybe even 300 bucks. So definitely be on the lookout for John Elliott and he also makes shirts and hoodies so definitely be on the lookout for those as well. But like I said I haven't been able to find any John Elliott jeans but those of you that live in the LA area I'm pretty sure you might come across some of those stuff a little more often. So like I said be on the lookout for John Elliott jeans because they definitely sell for huge profit. Next up is Gustin and I sell a ton of Gustin jeans anytime I find them they always sell within about 24 hours and I usually pick up more of their selvage denim jeans and I might even pick up some of their like khaki or tan pants because those also sell for decent profit and the last pair of Gustin pants that I had sold for about 40 bucks and the last pair of Gustin jeans that I had sold for about 85 so definitely be on the lookout for Gustin jeans because the range usually is somewhere between 85 and 120 if it's used and you might get up to about 150 if it's brand new with the tax. Next up is APC Denim and APC isn't as popular as it used to be but it definitely has a huge following still because they just make really good jeans and if it's used you can get somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks and if it's brand new with the tag you might be able to get about 150 to maybe 200 bucks depending on the style and the fit so definitely be on the lookout for APC denim uh, next up is Saint Laurent denim jeans now the thing that really sticks out about these jeans is the fact that they are really slim fit like a really tight fit and they, ha and they usually have a lot of distress in so that means it's a lot of holes and it's a lot of shreds and it might look like somebody like cut it up for themselves but trust me that is the design of the pants and they usually sell for about 150 to 200 bucks and if it's brand new with the tags you can definitely make somewhere between 300 and maybe 400 bucks 
but still Saint Laurent jeans is definitely one of the hottest jeans to be on the lookout for and chances of you finding them in your thrift store is kind of slim because people are still wearing them but like I said those of you in the LA area or just an area that has a lot of high-end brands I'm sure you guys came across these in the past so definitely be on the lookout for this because you can definitely make some good money. Now next up is Fear of God and the only time I found Fear of God jeans it came from the Essentials line and that was a kind of like a lower end line from PacSun and those still sell for good money. Those sell for about 120 to sometimes 150 bucks but Fear of God jeans they definitely sell as high as 250 to 400 but like I said it's very similar to Saint Laurent. It's very tight and it has a lot of distressing and chances of you finding it is still very slim. You really never know what you find when you're out there thrifting so definitely be on the lookout for Fear of God jeans and even if you have to pay up a little more for it from some of your thrift stores I suggest you still do that because you can definitely make a ton of profit. Next up on the list is Brunello Cuccinelli. Now Brunello Cuccinelli is nothing like Saint Laurent or John Elliott or any of the other brands that I mentioned. Now, this is more of like a classic fitting pair of denim jeans so you can't expect any um, distressing or anything like that but these jeans definitely still sell for good money and it usually sells anywhere between 60 and 100 bucks if it's used and you can definitely get up to 200 bucks if it's brand new with the tags so all of their clothing usually sells for a lot of money some of their regular button up shirts sell for as high as 65 to sometimes 80 bucks and a lot of their sweaters sell for about 150 to 200 bucks depending on the material that they use so overall be on the lookout for Brunello Cuccinelli but like I said if you find any of their jeans don't expect to see a bunch of distressing or a bunch of holes but just know they still sell for some good money. Next on the list is Stefano Ricci. Now Stefano Ricci jeans are very similar to Brunello Cuccinelli. You won't expect a bunch of distressing and a bunch of holes in their jeans but they definitely have a very slim fit and some of their jeans sell for as high as 200 bucks even if it's used. So definitely be on the lookout for Stefano Ricci jeans and just like Brunello Cuccinelli they also sell a bunch of other menswear such as blazers and jackets and shirts and stuff like that and anything with Stefano Ricci always sells for good money so definitely be on the lookout for that brand. Next up on the list is Ketone and Ketone always makes my list anytime I'm talking about clothes that sell for a high profit. In the past I've sold Ketone jackets and blazers and those also and those always sell for at least 150 bucks even if it's used. So the same thing goes with some of their jeans. Their jeans sell for about 150 to as high as 200 bucks depending on the overall condition. So if you guys see anything from Ketone, especially some of their jackets and blazers, definitely pick it up because they have a huge following and they always sell for good money. Next on the list is Ameri Jeans. Now Ameri Jeans are very similar to Saint Laurent and Fair of God and some of the other jeans that I mentioned. They usually have some distressing and they have a bunch of zippers and stuff like that but it's usually a very tight fitting pair of pants and it's definitely more of a popular brand right now so you might not see them in your thrift stores right away but just like any of these other brands after a while the hype will die down so you might start seeing these in your thrift stores but as of right now they sell for as much as 200 to 300 bucks used and up to 500 if it's brand new with the tags so definitely be on the lookout for our Mary jeans and they also sell things like leather jackets and shirts as well and last but certainly not least the brand that tops my list is vintage Levi's with the big E now I know there's a ton of other people they may have talked about vintage Levi's with the big E but if you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about all that means is that the Levi tag on the back pocket instead of a lowercase e it's usually spelt out all the way with a capital E and that's how you can kind of distinguish it and they also have two X's near the size tag so if you guys see any vintage Levi's that look anything like that definitely pick them up because they always sell for about 200 to 300 bucks even if they're used and when it comes to vintage Levi jeans even if it might have some stains or some natural distressing people really don't care about that because that really just adds character so definitely be on the lookout for any vintage Levi jeans that may have the big E and those double X's by the size tag. So that's all I have for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if there's any jeans that I haven't mentioned in my notable mentions or this top 10 list, make sure you drop it in the comment section so we can keep the conversation going. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.